Hello, hello, hello. Hidden Hermit here. Let's have a look at a uh, Knight of Pentacles, or maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't, I don't know, perhaps we should think about this. Hold off just for a moment, consider our options, should we, shouldn't we? Yeah, of course we should. So uh, this is the Knight of Pentacles from uh, the Hermetic Tarot, which is um, one of my favourite decks. I think it's a startling, striking deck full of interesting stuff. So, um, kind of conversely, I'm going to show you the Knight of Pentacles, who really isn't enamoured by, um, you know, fancy stuff at all. When you think about the Knight of Pentacles, you think of, uh, you know, his steadfast, practical, his cautious, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a heaviness about the Knight of Pentacles, I think. You know, um, unlike, well, it's, it's, it's one of the, uh, the, 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 the feminine knights if you like and that's an unfair way of putting it it really is but so you have the swords and the wands on one side which are very active and their their horses are in motion and then you have the the pentacles and the cups on the other side where the horses are you know not not quite as horsey <laughs> um but the knight of pentacles is the most cautious of of this energy um yeah, uh, very materialistic, but incredibly patient is the Knight of Pentacles, and not in a, not in a sort of a stoic sense like the King, perhaps, but in a, in, you know, he is a knight after all. You know, he is, he has been called to action, but he's just making sure that it's the right time. I'm blabbering on about the Knight of Pentacles quite a bit. Let's have a closer look at the uh, this Hermetic deck here. So first of all, uh, we know that the. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is the Lord of the Wild and Fertile Land, which is great. I love that. It's a good vibe. And um, this is a Hermetic deck, so, you know, it's much like the Tart or uh, any of those any of those decks that kind of twist the idea of the kings, the princes and the knights. However, in this particular deck, it is indeed going with the, the Fire of Earth, which, which I'm completely down with. It makes sense. I think the Knights should be the Fire Core card. And of course, the pentacles are the earth one. It, it makes sense to me. Perfect sense. What we got going on in this card here? So, <clears throat> excuse me. You, you have your knight. He's on his horse that is stationary. Although you can't really tell where the, the horse's legs are. Maybe it's a floating horse. I doubt it though. Interestingly about this knight though is he, he does have his scepter aloft. Now in the top deck, he has a weapon. In the weight smith, he's holding a pentacle, which I quite like. But in in this deck, he actually is holding his scepter aloft. Why? I don't know. Um, perhaps it is because he is a knight. He's got two shields as well. And you, you have the, the Star of David on each. And for whatever reason, the horse is indeed armoured. Now, this is the, the Hermetic deck. So there could very well be meaning in the, the, the pattern of his chainmail, the pattern on the blankets, all sorts of stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Um, down here, you have the astrological glyphs for Leo... Virgo and Virgo, and yes, the Knight of Pentacles in this tradition and in mine as well. <laughs> not that I'm not that I have a tradition, <laughs> whatever. Uh, it does rule from 20 degrees Leo to 20 de degrees Virgo. And um, blah, 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 what you else you got? Yes, you have the 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 ears of corn at the moment down the bottom here. Um, that is also to signif signify Virgo, Virgo the uh, the corn maiden, if you like sort of growth, fertility, plus it's very ordered. An ear of corn is incredibly intricate in its, in its structured pattern. Up here you have a, a winged stag. Notice I say winged just to make myself sound learned, but I'm not. Um, now this is an interesting one because the stag I do indeed, um, I, I, you know, it's a pentacle thing. It's a pentacle vibe. The, the, the queen and the the page or the princess, they, they've all got antlers, which are very cool in, in most hermetic decks. So um, I do think that this is another kind of earthy feel. Although um, you could ask, you know, is the winged stag, the winged stag, also representative of Leo in a way? I don't know. I don't know. But quite potentially. I mean, you've seen winged lions in... in uh, strength or fortitude cards before 
and um, I mean, you've got to ask yourself, what's the difference between a stag and a lion, apart from the obvious? But uh, <laughs> um, it, it could very much symbolise Leo, or indeed the, the, the whole earthy pentacles thing. It's a, it's a, you know, just like most of the, the Hermetic Tarot, it's a interesting card going on there. And uh, the meanings prescribed to it in the Little White Book is very much what we are, what we're used to. Um, it, it talks about uh, being heavy and dull and laborious. But in, in a good way, you know, um, that that idea of steady labour, of getting the job done is, is very much a vibe with the uh, the Pentacles core cards. It tells us that it's patient and clever, methodical as well. Good old Knight of Pentacles. To be fair, when the Knight of Pentacles comes up in a reading, he he's there to be a pal. He's there to be, you know, serving your greater purpose. Just give, give, giving you a little reminder that the situation, whatever it is, does um, require a little bit more attention to detail, that Virgo vibe, um, a lot of thought into it. So, so yeah, he's, he's always there to, to give you a hand. Um, reversed. And the Hermetic Tarot does indeed do reversals because, well, you know, it's interesting. I mean, these, these glyphs down here are slightly different, but generally. So reversed, the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, uh, we think about stagnation stubbornness a lack of imagination perhaps um the the white book also says a lack of courage um jealousy grasping is another one sort of clutching at straws or ears of corn maybe do you know it's amazing i've spoken so much about the knight of pentacles and um for such a stoic cautious fella i've given him a lot of words so I'm going to shut up now. So, yeah, there you go. That's the Knight of Pentacles from the Hermetic Tarot. Thank you very much for watching, if you've got all the way this far. <laughs>